Welcome. This video will tell you more about input calibration and configuration. To carry out this operation you will need the 7500 ohm resistor received with the device. First, open the input configuration window. You need to assign an alarm zone to all of the inputs or otherwise the resistance of the inputs will not be displayed. In this example we'll assign an alarm zone to only two of the inputs. Save the configuration before proceeding further. The resistance is displayed on the second screen in the main window of the software. The resistance of each input is slightly different so the values shown will never be exactly 7.5 ohms. This is why you have to correct the value shown so that it is as close to 7.5000 as possible. For instance, if one of the inputs initially shows a resistance of 7.25000, then you need to correct it by 0.25000. If it is 7.75000, then you need to correct it by minus 0.25000. Remember to save the configuration after each correction. To receive a resistance value, you need to connect the resistor to pin 22 from one side and the input you want to calibrate from the other. Let's try to calibrate the resistance of input 1. As you can see, the measured value is 7.7. .7. This means that you have to correct the resistance by around minus 0.2. Save the configuration and check again. If the value is still off, then you need to repeat until you achieve 7.5. The resistance will never be precisely 7.5, but it, if it is balancing between 7.49 and 7.51, then it is acceptable. In this example, we'll have to correct it slightly. Now it looks ok. Now let's try the same for input 2. As you can see, the measured resistance is different and is 7.58. So you have to correct it by around minus 0.8. Again, repeat until the value is as close to 7.5 as possible. You follow the same procedure for every input. Remember to save the configuration after every correction, as otherwise the value shown will not change. Now the value looks ok. It's best that you make a configuration backup file. In the main window, switch to the settings tab. Press the save, save to file button and pick a name and a location for the backup file. This way you can restore the configuration if you make any changes that disrupt the operation of the device. 
return to the input configuration window. The other parameters that interest you are the line compensation and input sensitivity. The sensitivity value defines how much the resistance needs to change for the alarm to be triggered. In the examples shown at the screen, the resistance would need to increase or decrease by 0 0.25 thousand or more for the alarm to be triggered. You can enter any value you want, but remember that if you put a value too small, then false alarm will may occur. Also, if you enter a value too high, the alarm may not be tr re may not react at all. We consider 0 0.25 thousand a safe value. Now let's see the line compensation value. It's good to insert a resistor in the line so that its resistance is not zero. The type of the resistor is up to you, but we advise one in the 300 to 800 ohm range. This is done because if the line resistance is zero or just a few ohms, situations may occur where the alarm will not be triggered. For example, if the sensitivity is 0 0.25 thousand, but the line resistance when the alarm is armed is only 0 0.1 thousand, then the alarm will be triggered if the resistance exceeds 0 0.35 thousand, but will not react if the resistance drops below 0 0.1 thousand. The compensation value will then be the resistance of the line plus the resistor. In this case, we connected a resistor of around a half a thousand ohms to input 21. Remember to set the alarm zone for that input or otherwise the resistance will not be visible. As you can see, the value shown now in the second screen in the main window is 0 0.54. Now enter the compensation value and save the changes. The value shown now should be 0 or close to 0. Repeat the process until you reach as close to zero as possible. Once you have finished making the line compensation settings, you can now assign inputs to alarm zones. Let's assign input 20 21 to alarm zone 2. Remember to always save the settings. First, arm the alarm zone. Remember to enter the 147 pin code to be able to make changes in the main window. Notice that the resistance value has changed. This is because we connected another resistor that imitates a sensor to in line with the previous resistor. Now, when the zone is armed, change the resistance by connecting uh, a resistor to the input in a par parallel way. As you can see, the input reacted to the change in resistance and triggered the alarm. Of course, right now there is no further effect, but you can connect a horn or any other indicator to the device and set it up to react to such changes. This is all for now. Thank you for watching.